I felt this is a show that is different than any show I've ever done. This is going to be something that needs to be filmed. And I thought, I have to find a way to bring what's happening in the world into the show. And uh, that is one of the reasons I reached out to you. Thank you. A match made in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a commuter, my house. You didn't have to go far. Well, there's a... Do you remember the first time we actually met? I don't remember when we first met, but we crossed paths a lot. We were both, I felt, coming up around the same time. Yeah. And mind each other from afar, right? Yes, yes. We're parallel paths. Well, for me, I was a fan from the get-go, the early albums. Your film, big inspiration for me. She's got to have it. 1986. 1986. New York City at that time. It was just so vibrant. Yes. Not so many years later, I got an invite to the premiere of Do the Right Thing. You were there? At the Zigfield, wasn't it? <gasps> At the Zigfield, right? The Zigfield. Don't you miss the Zigfield? Yes. I, I just thought, this, this is a moment. This film is a moment. So we have crossed paths mm -hmm. a number of times. So it was not a big jump to say, I'm going to reach out to Spike. So I called you up and said, will you come and see our show? When I saw the show, I didn't know what to expect, but when you on stage and you're holding this brain, I'm like, WTF? <laughs> <laughs> and then I see these musicians come on stage and the percussionists, the marching bands. I mean, the choreography is amazing. How do I work this? <laughs> That's the move. <laughs> I was in. What is it about marching bands? You got a thing with marching bands. To me, it's incredibly exciting. When the percussion gets broken down, and so that what would normally be one person on a drum kit is now 10 different people. Visually and emotionally, it has a very different impact. What you're seeing and experiencing is a whole group of people working together. As one? As one. And you feel that. After you saw the show, were you thinking there was anything you wanted to change for the filming? Well, this is not my show. This thing is great before I even saw it. It was great. I saw my role is, what can I do with the camera? When I saw the show in Boston, that's the one where the camera work came to me mm. sooner than any other thing. I was above in the balcony, so I could see like, there are patterns that you guys are doing. I said, all right, we're gonna have a camera okay. shooting down <laughs> a Busby Berkeley camera. You think it mattered that we had a live audience in there? Oh yeah. There's something about an audience. There's something extra that comes in. Between the audience and the on stage, yes. right? There's something going on between you. It's magical. And that Saturday night crowd was great. Saturday night, New York City, Broadway, the late show. <laughs> so people went to dinner, people had a couple drinks. That nine o'clock show, people were lit. <laughs> So I never asked you, what does the title mean? David Burns' American Utopia. That word is a magical word. Utopia, peace and love. Yes, but obviously we do not live in a utopia, but I'm putting forward evidence that we can do this. We don't need to make a speech about it. You can see it. Right there. Right there. And not just see it, you can feel that it feels good. It's not just an idea, it feels good. Everybody's coming. And they're never gonna go back home